Hey friends, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great week. In today's video, we're gonna be going around and taking care of some little things that I've been putting off forever. I know I've told you guys before, I'm a bit of a procrastinator. I will get projects done right up to like the finish line and then just kind of quit. <laughs> So, um, but I have a few things that are on my list that I want to take care of. One is filling all the nail holes that are around here. Now, I tend to hang things with thumbtacks, um, things that are lightweight. So, I do have some bigger, like, screw holes, but for the most part, they're little nail holes. Um, and I ordered a product off of Amazon, I'm going to share that with you guys, that really helped to fill in those nail holes and it was very simple and easy. I also have a couple of boards in my floor that have gotten a little gap in them. I suspect it's from um, where they've gotten wet, like one of them is right in front of the fridge. We spill things. I drop ice there all the time and I'm cleaning it up, so I suspect that's what caused it. Um, but we're going to take care of that and fill those little gaps in. You can see here what I'm talking about, this gap here. This board is right in front of our fridge. I'm gonna use this Minwax wood putty to cover this up, and this is in the color Early American. I thought this would match my floors pretty well. I'm gonna try using this scraper to kinda of scrape it into the crack, and no, it did not work very well at all. <laughs> it just kind of was like smearing it. I don't know. I decided that the best tool for this was my fingers and it was very easy just to spread it down in there. Just have to rub it back and forth till it fills the crack. Um, this was a very good solution. I thought I had saw someone on Instagram, I believe, do this and it worked like a charm. this turned out great and the color matched nearly perfectly with the other boards in the seams. It kind of looked like a grout line. Very happy. So we're going to get started with um, filling these nail holes. Let me share that product with you. This product is called a fill stick. It's by the brand Mohawk and I did order this off of Amazon. It comes in different colors. This color is white and all you're going to do is just rub this across the little nail holes. You gotta put a little bit of pressure behind it. As I'm going back and adding this voiceover, I realized that I still had wood putty all over my fingers and my hand. I don't know why I didn't clean them off first. I was too excited to try this fill stick. But yeah, that's what's all over my hands is that wood putty. As you can see, as you run it back and forth, the white, I don't know, I don't know what this stuff is, but it just fills in those little holes perfectly. Of course, there are other products that you can use to fill nail holes, but I just think this is so much easier. It's not messy, it's just this little stick. Now, my walls are alabaster, so they're not a true white. They're kind of a creamy white. So I can see the little white spots where this product was applied. So I'm just gonna go back in with some alabaster and touch that up. If you have a true white on your walls, then you may not notice it at all. Again tonight. Yes. Oh no. Come on. You got your flashlight ready? Come on. Alright, open the door. Gotta water these flowers. What? 
every Friday night, Boogie wants to hunt frogs. He even made him a little pond out of a kiddie pool. <laughs> Boys. Did you, did you catch one? No, I just put it back in the pond. Why is this the pond? This is the front of the house. Do you see any? No, I just found a spider. A spider? That's on we your definitely house. don't want any spiders. It's on your house. Why don't you kill it? I, I didn't want to. It's That's where I don't fight. See anything? He just camouflaged. He's camouflaged? Yeah. He's oh, camouflaged. I see him. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let him swim. Yeah, I'll let him He's swim. a little frog. I just woke up and I'm going to make us some breakfast. I think I'm going to cook some bacon and saute some peppers and onions and some cook some eggs. It's going to be a good breakfast. I don't always cook a big breakfast, which this isn't really big, but you know. <laughs> I love cooking my bacon in the air fryer. It gets nice and crispy. And I'm going to have one of these guacamole um, singles that I picked up from Aldi. I really love these with my breakfast with bacon and tomatoes. It's so good. I'm also going to cut up a few of these little tomatoes. I love to have this on the side. I don't like to cook them like with my peppers and onions and stuff. I don't, I'm not a big fan of cooked tomatoes unless they're in like chili or spaghetti sauce or something like that. Um, I don't know why. I'm just not a fan of it. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like tomatoes should be hot. <laughs> but I really love them on the side with my breakfast. Timmy makes fun of the way I say tomatoes because here in the South, nobody puts the O's on the end <laughs> of things like this. It's always maters or tomatoes or something like that. But I've always said tomatoes. I don't know why. None of my family says it that way. It's just, I don't know. It's just me, I guess. I'm going to saute these peppers and onions in a little butter. I like the frozen peppers and onions. I think I got these from Walmart. It's just easier, saves time from having to chop them all up, and they don't go bad. I'm really bad about letting produce go bad, unfortunately. So these that are already frozen work out really great for me. I typically will add a little onion powder garlic powder and salt and pepper to my pepper and onion blend. I really like it like that. Now I'm just going to cook up a couple of eggs and usually this amount is enough for Timmy and I to split, um, especially when I add the guacamole and the tomatoes on the side and the bacon. It's plenty for two people. take a minute to share with you this new idea that I had I picked up this um, 2022 um, calendar at the beginning of the year and I am pretty good about writing in it like my video ideas and to-do lists and things like that and I was just thinking as I was making this video I was trying to figure out what I could do to help me to Rem remember to do things and not procrastinate so much on stuff and so I thought maybe I could write in my little um, calendar here 
maybe like a kind of like a master list of things that need to be done that I've been putting off and I thought maybe I could choose three things each week from this main list of things that I need to do um, I think three is a good number not overwhelming depending on the project of course um, and then maybe I'll get more done <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do Put in here I'm just gonna make a big list and then every week I'm gonna choose as I said three things from that list and try to get them done by the end of the week surely I can do that <laughs> all right so for this week on my list was filling in the nail holes filling in the gap in the boards and the floor and get caught up on all of the laundry in the house now I have it all washed um, but today is Sunday and by the end of the day, I'm gonna have all these clothes folded. Like, my bed is covered with clothes <laughs> that need to be folded. So, I guess I've told you guys before, it's just Timmy and I, I don't know where all these clothes come from. It's just, it's ridiculous. All of you mamas out there with all these babies, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how my sister does it. I'd be, <laughs> I don't know. There's no way. I'm gonna put everything on here that I can think of that I think needs to be done that I haven't done. And then we will go ahead and choose three things for next week's little project list. Let me get started here. So some things that I need to put on my procrastination to-do list. Um, I need to paint the ceiling. That is a big project. I need to finish the board and batten in my kitchen get a doorknob for the kitchen pantry and install it. I need to finish a couple of spots in my bathroom that I never finished up the second coat on and you can still kind of see through the first coat of paint. It's not a big area but it's still something that needs to be done. Why is it when I try to think of things that I know that I need to do, none of them will come to me? What else? I know this list is bigger than this. Um, oh, I need to mulch. Remember I told you guys that I wanted to put mulch down beside the side of the ramp out there? Um, I need to do that. And the fridge, y'all. Oh my gosh. It needs to be deep cleaned so bad. Put that on here and also I really want to paint eventually I'm gonna get a new fridge because ours just it works great but it's not functional the shelving on the inside it's hard to find anything um, so eventually I want to get a new one I got that one off of Facebook marketplace I don't even remember how much it was it seems like maybe $40 or something like that and it looked terrible because it had been out in someone's garage so it was all dingy and I painted it with appliance paint appliance paint but I still have some of that paint and it's kind of looking dingy again so I thought maybe I would um, for the time being just go ahead and put um, another coat of paint on it just to make it look better until I do get a new one because that's not very high on my priority list there's a lot more things that I need to do before I buy a new fridge because like I said ours works fine paint fridge if you guys have an old appliance that has like yellowed or I don't know it's just not pretty you don't like the way that it looks that rust-oleum apply I think it's rust-oleum appliance paint works great i highly recommend it i got the kind in the can that you paint on i know they have spray paint kind also but i didn't want to use that so i used the kind that you um paint on and i just got a little one of those little rollers and rolled it right on and it worked great i have two lights i don't know if you remember in previous videos but i've never put in light put light fixtures in either one of my bedrooms i now have light fixtures to put in there and just have never asked my dad or my brother to help me install them because I don't really know how I could maybe I could YouTube it maybe I could look it up on YouTube and find out how to do it myself I don't know but either way we're gonna get those two light fixtures installed I need to declutter my office very badly it is a mess I'm eventually gonna do a makeover in that room but until then I just really need to get it cleaned up good at least um, 
it's like the landing zone when I don't know where to put something it just goes in that room and just just piles up so I need to get that cleaned up as far as outside I need to build my shutters for the front of my house and I plan to do that it's been so miserably hot but it's supposed to be like 82 tomorrow I believe so that would be a really good thing for me to knock out tomorrow we'll see if we can get that done you know how it goes when you're really trying to think of something it just doesn't come to your mind so as I think of other things I'll add them to the list but I think for this week's three projects I'm going to choose the mulch um building the shutters for the front of the house and deep cleaning the fridge so those are the three projects i'm going to try to get done this week you guys check back with me next sunday and we'll see if we got them done so i had somebody request in the garden i know we've done that one but it doesn't hurt to do it again if people want to hear it right amen so and i know you know that one amen. so i'll give it a whirl give it a whirl and a twirl Whirl and a twirl. Okay, well, let's do the whirl and the twirl. All right, All right you ready? <laughs> I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the guys that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for hanging out with me again today you guys continue to support me and encourage me and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and we will see you next week don't forget to tune in next week for the big project that I'm gonna share with you guys we've been working on it had a lot of help from my brother and my dad and 
I couldn't be happier with how it's turning out. So we still have some things to do, um, but it's gonna be great. I can't wait to share it with you because I know you guys are gonna be excited as well. Um, but thanks again. We'll see you in the next video.